So isatuximab is a novel monoclonal antibody directed against CD38. So very similar to the FDA-approved agent, daratumumab. And what we wanted to do in this study was explore its efficacy in combination with pomalidomide in patients with heavily relapsed multiple myeloma. So patients were eligible if they essentially met the FDA criteria for pomalidomide, which is to say they must have had at least two prior lines of therapy, must have had an immunomodulatory drug and a proteasome inhibitor. And we did this initially as a phase one study and now we're in an expansion cohort where patients were treated with these two drugs in combination. Uh, in the report that I present here at the European Hematology Association meeting, uh, we report 26 patients uh, who uh, tolerated the drug very well in the sense that, in the combination very well, in that we did not have a maximum tolerated dose, but we will go ahead with the 10 milligram per kilogram uh, dosing of isatuximab, which is given weekly for the first month, then every other week thereafterwards. Finally, we saw uh, great efficacy with this combination uh, in that we saw uh, over 70% response in that dose that we're going forward. The only challenge perhaps was that as expected with pomalidomide, we did see a significant amount of leukopenia and perhaps a little bit more than we anticipated from just pomalidomide alone. So it seems these two drugs together can induce a little bit more leukopenia. But with growth factor support and dose reduction of pomalidomide, we were able to manage each of these side effects.